Jurgen's Lotion and Woodbury Soap present the Luella Parsons Show. What actress was given $100,000 for a Christmas present? What blonde star will elope any day now? What well-known woman is sick in bed with heartbreak over Clark Gable's marriage? Luella will give you the answers and also take you on a Christmas call to the home of Alan Ladd, where you'll meet Alan and his family as they open Christmas presents. Brought to you, transcribed from Hollywood, by... Woodbury. 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 Beauty soap. For the skin you love to touch. And for soft white hands that love to caress. It's Jergens from J-E-R-G-E-R-N-S. And now your Jergens Woodbury reporter, Luella Parsons. Hello from Hollywood to all of you. And I'm sure you've all had a wonderful, happy Christmas. And now let me give you some big news. Two hours ago, Cherry Grant and Betsy Drake were married on a ranch near Phoenix, Arizona. Howard Hughes, Cherry's closest friend, flew them there in his private plane. They returned after a one-day honeymoon. I told you on my November 27th broadcast, Cherry and Betsy would marry at Christmas time. Well, they made it on the nose. Joan Harrison, the woman producer who was Clark Gable's steady girlfriend, up to the time he married Lady Sylvia Ashley, went to pieces the day after the news broke. A doctor was called to give her a sedative. Only 48 hours before Clark's marriage, they had dinner together, and everyone in Hollywood thought she'd be the next Mrs. Gable. I guess she thought so, too. Marilyn Maxwell, blonde actress, and Andy McIntyre, cafe owner, have already bought their wedding rings. They'll elope any addition and be married with a double ring ceremony. Marilyn, who used to be a very good friend of Clark's, is the one girl who isn't carrying a torch. I'm sorry to have to tell you that Gloria Graham, last year's Academy nominee, and Nick Ray, well-known director, are divorcing. He's spending Christmas with his family in Wisconsin, and Gloria's here with their baby. Oliver Swaber, attorney, will file next week. Greer Garson kept a transatlantic telephone line open all day today from London so she could talk to her husband, Buddy Fogelson, in the New York hospital as often as she wished. It cost her a small fortune, but Greer explained this was her Christmas gift to herself as well as to Buddy. Nice Christmas present for Dorothy Lamore. She settled her RKO contract out of court and received a down payment of $100,000. The remainder of the contract will be paid over a period of two years. In her suit, she claimed RKO dismissed her when they learned she was expecting a baby. It's too bad there isn't a chance for a reconciliation between Kirk Douglas and his lovely wife, Diana. All week, they've been talking to their lawyers, Arnold Krakauer of New York and Jack Leslie of Los Angeles, arranging a property settlement. Diana will file the first of the year. Interestingly enough, Krakauer is Kathleen Windsor's new husband. Today, John Egger spent several hours with Shirley Temple and their daughter, Linda Sue. But John didn't go to see Shirley. He went to see the baby to take her gifts. This was their first meeting since their divorce. But it was Christmas. And for the baby's sake, they wisely forgot their quarrels for the day. Here's a very amusing Christmas story. Mrs. Gordon McRae overheard a small daughter, Heather, talking to another little girl. Do you believe in the devil, the young friend asked. Of course not, replied Heather. He's just like Santa Claus. He's only your father. Don't you love that? Death took Leon Schlesinger early this morning. He gave the world Bugs Bunny, Porky Pig, and other famous cartoons. He was sick for a long time. Death behind the wheels of automobiles throughout the nation made Christmas a day of sadness for at least 200 American families. In Los Angeles, an all-time high of 263 drunk driving arrests climaxed Yuletide celebrations. I'm proud of Hollywood. Out of 30,000 motion picture people, only one was involved in a traffic accident or arrested for intoxication. This is an example other Americans might well follow during the New Year's festivities. Don't let death take your holiday. Unhappy Jean Wallace again made headlines. Clad only in lace scanties and a red coat, she ran into a parked automobile and spent Christmas Eve in jail. Now I'm afraid Jean will never get Francho Tone back. Such action is no way to win back a husband and family. Bill Silvers, who went home to his mother-in-law after he and his wife, Joe Carol Dennison, separated, has now gone back to his wife. 
Silvers and Joe Carroll reconciled very publicly at Zero's Friday night at the Joe E. Lewis opening so that the whole world could see them holding hands. Isn't that nice? I'll be back in a moment to let you have a peep into the Allen Ladd home at Christmas time. But first, here's Marvin Miller. Well, by now I'm sure all your gifts have been opened and the tinsel and tissue papers are put away. Incidentally, we hope there was a giant bottle of Jergens lotion tucked in the toe of your stocking. Jergens is so wonderful to have. It makes hands so smooth, so soft, so caressable. And you want your hands to be that way, particularly during the holiday parties, don't you? So if you didn't find Jergens lotion in your stocking, get a bottle soon. It's Jergens. It's Jergens. It's Jergens. It's Jergens. The hand lotion women love best. For soft white hands men love to caress. It's Jergens spelled J-E-R-G-E-N-S. And here is the talk of the town. For this Christmas Day broadcast, I'm taking you into the warm and wonderful Hollywood atmosphere that those of us who live here know exists, but which we hear too little about. I spent this Christmas morning at the home of Alan Ladd. You all know Alan in the movies, a fierce young man, usually with a gun in one hand and a blonde in the other. Well, let me tell you, that's a nag. The real Alan is a devoted husband and a very good father, just as our Bing Crosby, Bob Hope. Gary Cooper, Dana Andrews, and many other stars. My special reason for visiting Alan this Christmas is because it's the first Christmas that he and his wife, Sue, and their four children have all spent in their new home. So here I go, ringing their doorbell. Well, Merry Christmas, Luella. Merry Christmas, Alan. Come on in here. Let me have your coat. Well, Merry Christmas, Luella. Merry Christmas, Sue. I'm Carol Lee, remember? Good heavens, how you've grown. I'm Laddie, Miss Parsons. Have you seen our tree? Laddie, this is a real pleasure. You know, you're usually away at school when I come calling. I'm always here, aren't I, Miss Parsons? Yes, Alana, you always are. Say, how old are you now? I'm six and a half, and I've got something special I can say for you. Daddy promised. And who is this big man? I'm David. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, David. Now take it to me. Let Miss Parsons get into the living room. Oh, it's all right, Alan. Christmas is the one day that children should be seen and heard, just as much as they please. Oh, what a beautiful Christmas tree. I wish you listeners could see this side. The fire blazing in the big open fireplace. The four stockings hanging from the mantel, above which there are oil paintings of the four young lads. Their gifts and toys all over the place, under the tree, on the chairs and couches. Some wrapped, some still unwrapped. That package to me. Yes, indeed, David, this package is for you. And wait a minute till I get the others I brought. I brought them in already for you, Miss Parsons. Georgie, how nice to see you. You go on forever with Mr. and Mrs. Ladd, don't you? Yes, Miss Parson, I do. I'm fixing the best second breakfast you ever tasted. Luella, we have to have a second breakfast because there was no holding these Indians after dawn this morning. I had to let them open their stocking gifts, but I haven't unwrapped a single gift of mine. You know, I hate to. The wrappings are so pretty, I, I always hate to ruin them. Even to see what's inside. <laughs> Kelly, you've giggled every time I mentioned wrapping this morning. Mother, you... I'll get it. Oh, Mother, it's the postman. Where's his present? Right there in the hall closet. Alan, go wish the postman a Merry Christmas. She got a present to me. David, let me give you a present. Here, and Alana, this one is for you. Oh, and here's one for Carol Lee. And now let me see, where's Laddie? Oh, here it is. A dog! Oh, Thank you, Thank you, Miss Parsons. Thank May you, I have this, Mommy? Uh, May yeah, I have this, please? Here. What is he? I want this. Uh, Luella, can I cut in on these kids for a moment to, uh, well, to tell you the sad story of what has happened over the years to Susie's and my uh, gift giving to one another? From what I've seen of the jewelry you've given Susie in the past, I'd like somebody to make me sad that way. Ah, but that was in the past, Luella. When I was courting Sue, she gave me something like, well, gold cufflinks for Christmas, and I gave her earrings. But uh, what do you think she gave me last Christmas? A tractor for our ranch. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gave me a broodmare, also for our ranch. Oh, yes, and the year before that, she gave me the ranch's water pipes. Luella, what he gave me that year was a new ranch kitchen. <laughs> well, I must say, this sounds like all good marriages. 
You are both beyond the glitter things and dedicated to values that are permanent and solid. That's why we all admire you so much. Well, thanks, Lavella. In just to Susie, I want to tell you that I decided not to be quite so practical this year. You see, this wife of mine is just a little Christmas crazy. She goes all out for the trappings and tinsel. Now, Alan, just because I'm fussy about how things are wrapped... Luella, you can imagine how hard it is to wrap up a brood nest or a ranch kitchen. But gaze on that little clump of exquisitely wrapped gifts yonder. Just for me, Daddy. No, David, they're for your mother. Oh, Alan, they're so beautiful. Well, I don't even care what's in them. You're sure that isn't going too far? Well, yes and no. Open one now, Susie, will you please? Oh, I'm dying to. Goodness, I've never seen so much paper and so much tissue and so much... But where's the gift? I can't find it. Listen, this box is empty. Oh, well, and you so-and-so and you, Carolee and Laddie. <laughs> I know what you've been giggling about. They're not all empty, are they? No, darling. Only that one. Mrs. Ladd, you'd better come and get them while the pancakes are hot. Georgie, you didn't get your present off the tree yet. Mrs. Ladd, I have no time to stop if you want hot food. Daddy, may I say my prayer now? Luella, do you mind? It's pretty appropriate at a time like this. I'd love to hear it, Alan. Will you say it for us now, please, Alana? Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. And God bless all the little children in the world. Amen. Alana, that was very sweet. Now, all of you, please, go right ahead with your breakfast. I've got to get back to my broadcasting studio. Alan, I'm so very glad to be here this morning with your family. And let me say this visit proves just what I hoped it would. What's that, Luella? Just that Christmas in Hollywood is exactly like Christmas everywhere else in this country, full of happiness and children's laughter and love. And let us all hope every Christmas will always be like that all over the world for everyone. And now, Merry Christmas, everybody. What sends Santa Claus streaking back to the North Pole after he's delivered his packages? What's the magnetic attraction? It's rosy-faced Mrs. Santa Claus with her luscious Woodbury complexion. She says, I need a mild soap in this nippy climate, and Woodbury is wonderful. It smooths my skin, never burns it. Hear that, ladies? There's no skin burn, no rough redness with Woodbury soap. Woodbury contains a real beauty cream ingredient. Give your skin a Christmas present. Start Woodbury Soap Facials tomorrow. Woodbury. 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 Beauty Soap. For the skin you love to touch. For a lovely complexion, remember to buy. W-O-O-D-B-U-R-Y. And here is last minute news. And now my last minute news is to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And to say how very lucky we all are to be celebrating the holidays in this wonderful country. That's all for tonight, but I'll see you next Sunday when I'll present my selection of the most promising newcomers for 1950. Good holiday weather isn't always good complexion weather. Those biting winds and nippy weather that make holidays more fun make dry skin even drier. Bring tiny, thirsty lines to your face. But you needn't worry if you use Woodbury Dry Skin Cream regularly. Peniton, that marvelous penetrating ingredient, helps Woodbury go down deeper, bringing the rich benefits of lanolin to your skin. It's a wonderful aid to thirsty skins. Try Woodbury, the cream of dry skin creams, for a smooth complexion in rough weather. And now the makers of Jergens Lotion and Woodbury Facial Soap wish you the happiest, the heartiest Christmas you ever had. Good night. Preceding program was recorded and transcribed. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.